Question one says, which two statements contradict each other? Segment PQ lies on PQR, the plane. Point S lies on the plane PQR. Or QS does not lie on plane PQR. Which two contradict each other? Why does two and three contradict each other? Okay, so the answer there is C. Two, the secu three security cameras are mounted at the corners of a triangular parking lot. Camera one is 158 feet from camera two. Which is 102 feet from camera three. Cameras one and three are 131 feet apart. Which camera had to cover the greatest angle? This goes along with that we, that we learned yesterday. The biggest side is across from the biggest angle. So the biggest <coughs> side is 158. It is across from camera three. So that one is the one that has to cover the biggest angle. Two sides of a triangle have lengths 10 and 16. Which inequality describes the values for the possible third side? What would you get for this one? C. C. You have to be bigger than 6 so that when you add to 10, you're bigger than 16. But you have to be less than 26 so that the 10 and 6 you already have add together to be bigger than the third side. Number four, two sides of a triangle have lengths five and nine. Describe uh, the same question, just with some different numbers. What, what is the inequality that tells you what the missing side can be? Which one? B. Question number five, what is the value of X? Well, this is a problem that deals with the mid-segment. Segment 27 is the mid-segment. It joins the midpoints of the two sides. The mid-segment is parallel to that opposite side. That doesn't really help me here, but you need to know that. It's also half as big. So if this is 27, that opposite <coughs> side is 54. Okay? Questions on that one? Number 6 says B is the mid point of AC, so I'm going to mark this, telling me that those two are the same length. D is the midpoint of CE. I'm going to mark this. AE is 13. Find BD. Well, BD is the mid-segment because it joins the two midpoints. So it is half as big as that third side, so it is 6.5. The inches, centimeters, they don't really give me a unit, do they? Number seven, use the information in the diagram to determine the height of the tree. It's not drawn to scale. Well, they indicate that this is the midpoint of this side because these two sections are congruent. And this is the midpoint of this side because these two sections are congruent. So this is the mid-segment, and it is 90 feet. Number eight. Again, we have the mid-segment. So this side is half as big as this side. So 2x minus 4 is equal to what? Half of 20. 20 over 2. So 2x minus 4 is equal to 10. 2x is equal to 14. x is equal to 7. And that's what they asked me to do was find the value of x. There, you're right, there are. Number nine, q is equidistant from the sides of angle TSR. That means that it lies on the angle bisector. The diagram is not drawn to scale. Find the value of x. This is the angle bisector. So this part and this part are congruent. So 21 is equal to 2x plus 17. And angle bisector is going to divide those into two congruent parts. Then you're going to solve minus 17 
4 is equal to 2x. <coughs> x is equal to 2. And that's all they ask for. X is equal to 2. Number 10. It tells you that DF bisects the angle. And that tells me that this and this are equidistant. From that point F on the angle bisector, you're equidistant to the two sides. So 6x plus 24 equals 8x. Subtract 6x from both sides. And divide by 2. X is 12. Is that what they ask for X? Yes. Okay, 11. A, B, C. G is the centroid of B, E. Oh, C is the centroid. B, E is 12. Find B, G, and G, E. The centroid is two-thirds of the distance from the vertex to the side. Okay, it's two-thirds. The centroid is two-thirds of the distance from B to E. Now, they told me that B, E was 12. So, <coughs> if you're dealing in thirds and you have the number 12, what's one-third of 12? Four. What's two-thirds of 12? Eight. What's the third third? Gonna make 12. So you've got 12 and you're dividing it into thirds. You've got four, four, and four. So this part is four and this part is eight. B, G is four and G, E is eight. <coughs> Right, it doesn't split it in half, it's two-thirds of the distance. Number 12, name the median for triangle PQR. Number 12, the median is QS. The median is QS. It has to hit at the midpoint, it has to come from a vertex. 13, find the length of AB given that DB is the median. So DB is the median, so we know that this part and this part are congruent. And AC, the whole thing, is 24. So what's this section? 12. Not 12. That's 34. So what should that be? 17. Yeah. What is the negation of the statement? Miguel, Miguel's team won the game. What would you write? E L S What is the game? Yeah, I would take that, but they could have tied. That's another way, so you kinda gotta think about that. But I I'd probably accept that answer. What if the con what's the contrapositive? If a figure has three sides, it's a triangle. The contrapositive does what? It switches them and makes them negative. So if it is not a triangle, then it does not have three sides. 16, list the sides in order from the shortest to the longest. The shortest side is going to be across from the smallest angle. So this is the shortest side. Now remember, the diagram's not drawn to scale. The middle and the longest. So the shortest side is JL. And the middle side is JK. And KL is the longest. 17. Identify parallel segments in the diagram. Parallel segments would be the mid segment and the other piece of the triangle. So one pair would be BD is parallel to AE. Another pair would be DF and it is parallel to CA. Yes, that's an AE. It doesn't look like it, but that's what it is. And then BF 
is parallel to CE. Eighteen says, given that ray or line AB, line AB is the perpendicular bisector of IK, name two lengths that are equal. That makes this one equal to this one. IJ is congruent to JK, or you could say the measure of IJ is equal to the measure of JK. Can you form a triangle from these three segments? Did you measure them? What did you get for a measurement? Uh, B is one centimeter, C is three, and A is one. So would that work? No, will not work. Number 20, AC and BD are perpendicular bisectors. So if it's a bisector, it's got to cut something in half. So if this is 12, this is 12, and if this is 5, this is 5. So find B, C. How are you going to find B, C? Perpendicular bisector here. What kind of triangle is that? Right triangle. So 5 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. Thirteen. Oh, it was already mentioned. It was thirteen. Okay. A E. B C is thirteen. A E is five. D B is twenty-four. <coughs> and D C is thirteen. And you've mm -hmm. Okay. Questions here. <coughs> 